Hey there. I've got this Goodyear Racing half inch pneumatic impact wrench. It was given to me by the gentleman I used to apprentice for as an auto mechanic. But when the big flood happened here in northern Colorado in 2013, the shop got about three to five feet of water. He recovered this after the waters receded. It was squeaky. I rolled the crap out of it and I've been using it ever since. It never had a button that I can recall. Just this post here that you, you can press on. That's the button. A little bit uncomfortable at times. Be hard to hard to trigger from some angles. So I decided it was time to make one. Let's head over to the computer and I'll show you how to design a new one using a free program called FreeCAD. Okay, first off the uh, version and build info for anybody who might be interested in that sort of thing. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe. I've got plans for some more legitimate free CAD tutorials for anybody who'd like to learn how to do CAD design with a free program. So let's get started. I like the uh, part design workbench and typically start in the XY plane. I'm just going to sketch the uh, outside shape. I'm also going to make a reference for that center, center hole. I'm going to base the uh, outside of the shape off of that. And these are just the dimensions that I measured with my calipers. And I've got the outside shape. Go ahead and pad that up. start there for now. Here at the bottom. And we'll make our actual hole. Pocket that seven point seven five just from what I've I've measured as far as the uh, throw of the that button it's upper limit versus lower limit. Another one here for that pin. I'm going to grab that edges reference. I think we need to go. up just a wee bit before we go into an arc.
Now, I wanted this button to be perfect. So I knew it was going to take a few iterations. Naturally, I pulled out a big reel of old PLA that I got for cheap and whipped off a test print. This filament hasn't really been stored very well, humidity wise, but it still prints fine. This first attempt I was aiming to dial in the, the hole size and see what fit was like on the outside. The hole came out small as expected. I took the difference between the target and actual and changed the dimension accordingly. This is due mostly in part to properties of the plastic I think, but and infinitely more can be said about printer accuracy and calibration. I won't delve into that here. So if the hole needs to be a little over the target, 5.04-ish, 3.45 from the flat side of the button to the bottom, but the print comes out only 4.7 wide, that means the dimension in the model needs to change to like 5.75 because then it's still going to come out smaller than that but it'll be just a little bit over our actual dimension to allow for a good press fit the outside I did not see the little radii hidden in there in that top corner same on the other corner so have to add those in as well now I wanted to test out a contour you don't want to be you know grabbing around this blocky thing so start a sketch on this side you're just going to use some arcs and play with them until I've got a contour that I like Yeah, something nice and curvy like so and then close in above that go all the way through and slap a little fillet on that upper edge as much as it'll take Yeah, that doesn't look good. Sweet. Time for another test print. This one, the hole was a nice fit, but the outside was way too large. Looking more closely, the inside has a taper. It tapers down as it gets deeper. Sneaky. I like the contour though. I think I'll leave that alone. Because once it's on there, it has a nice feel on the finger. So, this is the beauty of CAD. I went back to the first sketch, changed the dimension, recomputed and kicked off another print. Close but not perfect. Still needs to be smaller on the outside. This one was good. 
but I got stuck at the very bottom and I had to pull it out with pliers. So we need smaller. This one bottomed out nicely, but the stroke was short from what I had measured on the button by the height of that pin. So that means that needs to be larger also. Okay, well, I hope this is going to be the one. Let's go see how it fits. Now it's on all the way. Looks good. Feels good. I'm going to go grab my calipers and Measure that throw. I measured the, the throw of the switch with my calipers and everything checks out getting exactly the measurement that I'd gotten just off the bare button. So I'm really happy with the way this trigger turned out. Would I have liked to have made this many test prints? No. Typically I print with ABS on that machine and I've done it so much I know what to size my features at in order to achieve prints with the proper dimensions. What really got me here was the taper of the sidewalls all the way down. I didn't see that. I should have taken more careful measurements. Please hit that like button and subscribe for more 3D printing adventures in the future. If you happen to have an impact wrench just like this, click the Thingiverse link in the description and you can print your own if you've got a 3D printer. While you're there, follow me on Thingiverse or check out my other useful 3D prints. See you next time.